All right, guys, smoking bears here with you. Um, doing a special, um, special cook today. Um, kind of celebratory one for for me personally. Um, September first was my four year sobriety. Um, so I, we were out of town, and uh, normally I would blow something up, but uh, I forgot my fireworks at home when we were out of town. So um, we just cooked a good meal and, and enjoyed the company we were with, uh, which family is awesome. Um, and today being the sixth, it is my birthday. Uh, hard to believe 41. Uh, I don't know how I made it this far looking forward to where I'm going. That's all I can say. So what, I, what I, I've got a kind of a special thing going on uh, for years. I've wanted to do, um, Dutch oven cooking. I grew up watching Westerns and I always was fascinated with live fire and, and Dutch oven cooking. And I've done it a couple of times, but I've just been uh, kind of nervous, I guess, or just unsure, not really confident. I don't know. Just like, eh. But I barbecue all the time, so I don't, I don't know what the deal is. Why I'm so... So anyway... Uh, what I'm planning on doing and I have a uh, I have a series of videos that I'd like to shoot um, all around Dutch oven cooking and uh, trying to keep it healthy you know because we're still doing the paleo stuff um, so anyway um, let's let's today's cook is gonna be a whole chicken in the Dutch oven and I already got the coals out there getting heated up and right so uh got to actually use the Dutch oven drum that I made years ago and cooked maybe twice in. <laughs> uh, so let's get into this thing here. So what I have is, what I have, oh, this big lid, <clears throat> this is my Dutch oven. Uh, a friend of mine uh, loaned it to me um, a while back. So it's a big 12 inch Dutch oven. Um, this lid has the lip on it so it'll hold the coals. Uh, so that's kind of important. Um, and then it has the feet so we can put the coals in underneath it or around it. Um, so uh, let me get into, into this here. And what I have is, uh, what do they call that? The Miroquois. I have chopped carrots celery and onion um there's three big carrots that i've kind of done kind of chunk style celery kind of there's three or four stalks of celery and about an onion and a half um so dropping those in and i'm going to stir that up just a little bit just to get them broke up always 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 wood in cast iron metal will scratch the seasoning um, gosh dang, that smells good already. I ain't done nothing. So I put those on the bottom to keep the, uh, keep the bird up off the, the bottom so the bottom of the bird doesn't burn. Um, and then what I have here is, uh, sorry for reaching in front of you like that, some garlic. Um, some, just some garlic, minced garlic. Um, you know, can't, I didn't have any fresh and... I just didn't feel like going to the store again. I went last night and tried to remember everything and you know, it didn't. So that's about three tablespoons of, gar of this minced garlic. I don't know how many cloves that transfers into, but um, anyway, I like garlic. And then what I have is some vegetable broth. Um, I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna pour that in there. Um, Kind of help make a kind of help give the the veggies a little something to stew in and uh, it'll hopefully make some sort of like good stock or broth when it's done. Um, oh man! All right, all right. Let's get that out of there. All right. Now, I'm going to set this aside 
sit down here. Let's get on to the bird. So this this chicken, um, I don't know, oops, four or five pounders. Um, it's been uh, let me back a little bit. Been rinsed. Um, it's a uh, some natural some natural chicken I found on sale. Um, nothing special, but I'm gonna season it with this Lane's Pitmaster Elite um, number two of six. I don't know. Um, I was at my local barbecue store. Well, it's not really local, but it's about a 40 minute drive. Anyway, I was there and the guy really um, suggested it for chicken wings and I can say it was great. Um, the, the thing that sets it apart is it has sriracha powder in it instead of like a jalapeno or cayenne. So pretty, pretty darn good. Um, so I'm just going to season this up. Um, pretty, looks like it's pretty, uh, pretty thick granules, which is good. Um, if you notice, I don't have any gloves on because I ran out over the weekend. So, but I, I normally always have gloves on when I season meat. Uh, oh man. So, I hope everybody had a great Labor Day. Um, I know mine was just short of fantastic. Um, my, uh, we went and visited family and um, the smoker that they had was actually in need of repairs. So we didn't actually smoke anything, but we did we did cook in the inside. So uh, it's not always about smoking, it's about the family and enjoying the time. Um, it's always good to catch up with people, with family. Okay, so we got her, we got her pretty well seasoned up. I mean, um, so now, let's get this big oven back up here. Let's get the oven in there. And then now, I'm going to set this bird in breast down. Why? Because a couple videos I saw recommended that. Because the heat from on top, when I put the coals on top, won't cook that breast as fast as you know this dark meat um so let's sprinkle a little more up on top here and I try to get in around the sides to season the veggies all right so got my nasty hand and my clean hand always important to have dirty hand clean hand never know when you have to adjust the camera so um let me pause and we'll pick back up at the Dutch oven drum um, and I'll give you a little tour of that um, it's pretty simple really but it's pretty neat so let's do that we'll pause and then we'll pick back up out there all right now I'm back outside um, here's a drum let's see if we can get a, I'm trying to set this up so you guys can see so basically it's a 55 gallon drum, got the whole cut out here, got a pizza pan, got my ash, my uh, ash catchers cleared the bottom, I don't know if you can see that, but it's opened up so I can throw hot coals, spent coals down the bottom there. Um, let me take the lid off. So the lid function is really neat because you can actually use it in the rain if you wanted to but there you go um, the rack comes out so you could stack multiple ovens in it if you wanted to or you know just have have the one um, grab my tongs here it's not ready for that all right Just a coffee can chimney starter I made. Uh, nothing fancy. As my one guy says, you don't get full on fancy. 
so I'm pulling some of these out, putting them around. I think I'm going for like nine on the bottom. I don't even know if I got enough started. I might have to start some more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool thing is the lid doubles as a charcoal catcher. So now take this big oven, set it right down on there. She'll hold. Looks a little flimsy, but she'll hold. put these on the outer side hoping to have 18 but I don't know if I do or not I really didn't count my bag was getting really low so I just threw them all, all on there uh, but the next one I'll, I'll, I'll fire up another batch of coals here and get them going are pretty small. Should have just dumped them out, huh? We'll let that go for a little while. I'll get another batch of coals fired up because that's nowhere near what I need. Um, so we'll get another batch rolling in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I got thirteen on the top and nine on the bottom. So I'm running under what under three hundred degrees, uh, about two two thirty, two forty. I don't know. They say each coal is like 10, 10 degrees. So. I will get some more fired up and then uh, we'll be back uh, prior to rotate in about 15 minutes. Alright folks, it's been about 20 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and uh, rotate that. I'm going to show you how I'm going to rotate. Get that down in there. Pull the lid off. I'm going to rotate this. already kind of spent. Uh, we'll rotate the lid. The opposite way. I'll try to promote even cooking. I'll put the lid back on. And the the other thing with the lid is it's helping trap some of the heat in around it. You know like with the uh, tables and stuff they're wide open so if there's a breeze or whatever, there you got heat escaping. This is kind of trapping some of that heat in. I mean, it's not super hot. I mean, you can still touch it, but it's it's still warm. So uh, that's that's that. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get our next next batch of coals fired up because those ones look like they were spinning out. guys know all about these you guys know about these ladder tubes right awesome uh, all right basically just light it stick it on in there you got plenty of airflow coming in through here just like the chimney starter we're gonna let that dog run uh, so when I'm ready I'm ready to change coals out here. 
Uh, I'll give it about another 15 minutes or 20 minutes or so. I'll change out the coals, and uh, these, these, this batch here will be ready to roll. We'll see you then. All right, guys. You won't believe it, but I thought I hit record, and really, I guess I didn't. I looked over, and the camera head went to sleep. Oops. So anyway, what I did was my coals were were all ready. The bottom ones, the ones that were on, are spent. So I just went ahead and changed them out. The only difference is, is I moved them to the outside on the bottom instead of directly underneath, hoping to heat up from the outside and not burn anything in the in the center where the breasts are of the bird, and then. Uh, put new new coals up on top um, so that should give me about another I don't know 30 minutes or so um, I can already smell some some of it by moving it around and I'm telling you oh my goodness I got a feeling I'm I'm, I'm gonna be dancing today absolutely this stuff smells wonderful already uh, so I'll get uh, get this thing counted out and get another batch loaded up. Uh, yeah, I think I'm. I think I need some. I'll I'll do. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and get another batch of coals fired up just in case, and then uh, you know, then we'll go from there and uh, we'll do a temp, see where the bird's at, and uh, we'll go from there. See you in about 20 minutes. All right, guys. So we are about an hour and 10 minutes into this whole cook. So what I want to do now is I want to open this oven up and just see where, because it's time to rotate. So I just want to see where that bird's at. You know, I want to temp it and see where she's at. So um, let's go ahead and get a look here. Let's do it this way. So I have a trivet. Uh, Grab my lid lifter here. It's time to rotate anyway. So and be careful not to dump it, especially on my feet. Set that down. Holy cow, can you guys see that? Wow, can you see that? Oh. That thing smells amazing. Let's see where we're at. I know we're coming in the backside, but we're at about a 155 right there. So we're close. We're close. About another probably half an hour or so. 155, maybe another hour. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get her back going here. Uh, but it is time to rotate around the coals. Let's rotate that. And we'll get, let's get this uh, lid back on. Be careful not to get any ash in the inside. Let's just rotate that like that. All right, so we're at 155, right around, um, in the back side of the thigh. So we'll let it go for a little while. Um, I got more coals heated up, ready to go. So um, these ones here aren't looking too bad. Uh, they're getting pretty worked up, pretty worked over. So I'm gonna add some more, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll add some more. These are getting pretty spent. So I'll do that and then we'll be back uh, in probably about 20 or 30 minutes. All right, here we are. We're just shy of two hours. So let's take a look and see where we're, what's going on now. Pull this off. Oh man. I'm gonna say that bird's probably done, but Grab some food tongs here. Let's give this bad boy a 
limp. You see that? Okay, okay. Steam is good. right there in the boob so uh, man let me roll that back over to the sexy side oh see that all right well let's get it inside and then uh, we'll let's get it inside then we'll do a little taste test all right guys I'm inside I got this lovely big pot of love right here I'm trying to zoom down to there yeah um, again this is season with that pitmaster elite uh, lanes barbecue good stuff um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this bird out um, man you guys see that We're gonna set it over here on this board. Over here. And it is still smoking hot. Um, now I have a tray right here I'm putting that on so it's not like sitting on the floor or anything. Um, Cause it is still smoking hot. It'll take a while for that, little, that oven to cool down. Uh, so you can see I have it on a have it on another cutting board here. Look at this. It's already juice rolling every damn where. Wow. This is going to be some good, good eating. It's already pulled away from the legs. So really I just, I'm just going to slice into it. I'm probably going, what I'm probably going to do is get this whole thing pulled, dump it back in there, into the juices and stuff, and uh, kind of do it like a chicken soup. Um, pull some of this apart. Um, we're gonna try, I'm gonna save all these bones, I'm gonna try to do a uh, bone broth. Man, I'm gonna get some of that skin. Probably gonna be hot as <laughs> Man. I mean, you can just see it's, it, 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 it did get overcooked as far as, um, you know, where I wanted it. I wanted about 165, but um, got a little, little bit overdone, but it's okay. Um, All right, so I mean, let me just do a quick low. I was part of the wing. Oh my goodness. Mm. Wow, that was good. Oh, I'm actually looking forward to, uh, it's lunchtime. So I'm actually looking forward to digging into this with some of the, uh, with some of the soup. Um, here is a big hunk of carrot. Um, you guys can't see that part, but here's a big hunk of carrot. Uh, hot. Mm. Temperature hot. I should have let this cool down. Oh man, that was good. I, I love cooked carrots. I like cooked vegetables. I got some good stuff. Man. Uh, it's going to make a killer soup. So I'm going to pull this. And then I'm going to make this, uh, put it back in the pot. Make me a killer soup. And uh, I'm actually going to go sit down and watch a little TV. Uh, I found a 
Western channel on the TV. Call it's on a grit channel. I don't know. But it's all westerns, all oldies. Um, so that's what I've been enjoying while I'm doing this cook. So that's where I'm going to be. So that's smoking bears, man. Get out there, fire it up. You know, if kids were home, they'd be with me. But uh, get your kids out there and get involved, man. Ain't nothing better than than quality time with the family, with the kids. Um, have a good day. Alright guys, I know I did the outro and <laughs> I, I pulled this chicken. I thought I was done. I mean, I pulled this chicken and while I was pulling it, I, I was, the flavors just exploded. You know, I was eating while I was going and the flavors exploded. I want you guys to see this pot of love right here. There. All I did was pulled it, put it in, mixed it in. There's the onions, the celery, the carrots, the chicken, white meat, dark meat, it's all mixed in. And I'm telling you, I, I was about to fix a bowl and I started uh, munching on some. And I am telling you, I, I'm telling you, the, the, the flavor that just, just came out was, blew me away. It, it's got a nice, good, sweet, uh, sweet flavor to it. Um, probably from the fresher ingredients. Uh, but anyway, I uh, just want to serve up a little bit and, you know, let you guys see so you're not like wondering what it looked like. There you go. There it is. Get some of this broth. That vegetable broth mixed with the veggies was phenomenal. So I'm, I'm just gonna eat with my fingers. You know the carrots. The stuff was so sweet. Surprisingly, um, even the the breast meat, you know, the white meat. Because it was soaking in those juices. Mm. I know I said I was going to dance. Woo! Mm. I am not a professional dancer. Ooh. Ooh. So that's that's it. You guys have an awesome day.